Hello there and welcome back. In this video we are going to continue with the flask topic and I'm going to show you how you can provide some basic authentication for your given context route and a way of caching the responses your server can make. So let's get to it. We are going to pick up this topic from the last video where I showed you the flask demo project which was about getting started with flask so we are going to build on that <clears throat> all right so what we need to do is define three more functions in order to do some kind of authentication on our side the first one is going to be check authentic it is going to get a user and a password username and password and it is going to return true or false based on the fact if the username we specified is the test user and the password is the test password. <clears throat> we are going to need another function which is going to be the authenticate and this is going to return a tuple which will say that could not verify your out t with a new line and please provide valid credentials in order to get pass. And this is kind of important to return a dictionary which is going to be called www authenticate with basic brown equals login required good this is the end of the tuple and we are going to need the requires out wrapper function and we are going to say that this wraps the f function which was given to it and we are going to define the decorated function which is going to take arguments and keyword arguments and the else is going to be equal to request authorization and if not else or not check else authentication else dot username else dot password we are going to return the authenticate and return the f function with its arguments and keyword argument and in the end this is going to return our decorated function so basically what it does it is going to create a prepper function which will take whatever function we give it and it is going to call decorated function with this function's argument and in this decoration it is going to check if the authorization is passing our check authentication function because otherwise if we didn't create this wrapper function we would have to check these three lines on every hour 
every one of our context routes. And this way we can provide a very easy way for authentication. And if we want to change something in the mechanism, we only have to change this one function and it would apply to all of our context routes. So we are going to create the app.root forward slash authentication and this is going to be authorized access and Yeah. First, let's see what happens if we hit this URL. Okay, HTTPS. Localhost 8080 authentication. This is because we need to start the server. Mm -hmm. Let's revisit the site. Okay, so basically the authentication is not yet working because in order to use this wrap up function, we need to tell it right before the function. So requires, requires authentication. Let's save it. Wait for the flask to restart. What? What are those? So I have the set function, the other one. Oops. Oh, I know what's the problem. In order to use this, we are going to import a function from the functools import wraps. And now this is going to work. Cool. So let's reload this page. And I have made another typo. So requests, okay, let's hope it will work this time. It is still not yet working. Let's troubleshoot further.
Okay. So the problem is that we need to import another function from the Flask module and after that it should work. Okay. So if we do not specify any kind of authentication, it is going to return that we, it could not verify our authority to access this context root. And if we want to check what happens when we authenticate ourselves, then all we have to do is replace this one. This part comes after proper authentication. Let's save it. And here above we have specified the test user and the test password. And what I'm going to do now is use my Raspberry Pi and craft the CURL uh, command, which is going to look like this. We are going to specify a minus i, a minus k, a minus minus user which is going to be equal to test user test password and https the IP address of my machine which is a local IP address the port 8080 and the authentication is the, the correct one okay so, CURL, we do not need this equals to. Cool, it says that the authentication was proper, the HTTP 200 means that. Let's remove the part where we authenticate ourselves. It says that we need to provide valid credentials in order to get past. So, we remove the minus i. And here we can see the response of the server after we have successfully authenticated ourselves. Okay, the next one I wanted to show you is about uh, caching or a solution that uh, I have come up with. And namely, this will work this way. We are going to create a response cache dictionary and let's say that this context root will return a password and a username after successful authentication based on the ID it received. So we need to provide an ID to this context root and this is going to be our password cache. which will say that if the none key is received, then it returns the unicorns fly so high. If, let's say, it receives the 666 keyword, then it will return something like, I don't know, Power Puff Girls Exclamation mark. If it received 111, then it will return the password 123. So you could map these IDs for usernames and this way you could ask the server indirectly for the password of a given user based on the ID, ID it is represented by. So let's uh, continue with our function which is the authorized access. We are going to say that the password ID is going to be received as an argument 
and if this password ID is in the password cache, then we will print that we are answering from cache. This is only visible on the server side. Response cache bit. As we need to find the password, which is not in the cache, and so we will say this was this is the first ever asked format bit, and if the password cache contains this password ID, we will return not return but create a variable which is called uh, response and this is going to be a dictionary with the status ok and the password the password cache dot get dot bit else the response is going to be a status error And the password is going to be cash miss. And we are going to update our cash with the pit and the response and return the JSON dumps response. And here we return the JSON dumps response cache ID. Not sure if you could follow, but let's say what? it is frozen. No. So let's start it again. And if we hit the URL again. It said that the requested URL was not found. So basically we need to specify a password ID, which is going to be let's say 99. And it died with an error because I have forgotten to import the JSON module. But after I have imported it and the flask has restarted, it's working. So basically, it received the password ID we are looking for. The password for is the 99, and it was first ever asked, so it's not in the cache technically. But if we ask it again, it says it is answering from cache. So let's say what happens when I ask for the 111. It says again that it was the first ever asked. But for the second time it says that it is answering from cache. Maybe it will give a little bit of speed bump to this application's performance. Okay, so basically this is all I wanted to show you. I hope you liked it. Stay tuned for more. Subscribe and leave a like. Thank you for watching. Bye.